Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. You've been watching some reviews of the new Banis smartwatches, all of which have tethering capability, which is something we've been missing, at least uh, not effective tethering on most of the Android standalone uh, watches. These watches from Banis do not support the Google Play Store, so you can't download apps like you can on your regular Android phone but they do other amazing things. So we thought this nice video would be a summary of all three of the watches that we've previewed here and let you decide which one works for you. All right, here they all are with their charging cradles. We have the Banis B2, which is an IP68 waterproof sports smartwatch with heart rate monitor and Bluetooth uh, 4.0. Then we have the Banis B3, which is an IP53 waterproof sport fashion smartwatch with a heart rate monitor and Bluetooth 4.0. And then finally, we have the more um, dual mode kind of watch of the uh, BS19, which uh, supports uh, SIM as well as tethering, and it's an Apple kind of look-alike phone. You can see from the sizes that the B2 is a little bit larger than the 19, the BS19, and a completely different fashion statement here with the B3. So let's run through them all real quickly. Let's turn them on so you can hear them. The B2, nice and loud on this one. which is what you're going to want to wa uh, have if you're swimming with this watch. You want to make sure you'll be able to hear it. The fashion watch, which has a limited amount of splash protectivity. You wouldn't want to go swimming with this. But you might be able to get it wet a little bit. This one, I'd be real careful with this one. There's no waterproofing on it at all. But it does do... does do a lot of nice things too. As far as hooking up, this one has a charger that goes on the side and of course if it's the wrong way it's not going to hook up. You have to flip it and then it'll it'll connect and charge. That means you could actually wear this particular watch, the BS19, and charge it while you're wearing it. New concept to sleeping in, huh? Okay, the uh, middle one, the B3, has a charging dock that connects on the back. Again, you have to have it the right way, which is straight down. I presume if you were crazy, I mean careful, you could probably wear it with the charger on as well. A little bit awkward, but nonetheless it could work. And it connects on the back. Okay, and then this one is a much more sophisticated, because it's waterproof, it has this entire cradle thing that you need to slap on. Line up, and I think you got to get that in line with that, and then snap that, and it goes in. This is just a ribbon USB cable, okay? It's nothing fancy. You could use a standard USB cable. It's just a pretty little thing that got included in the package. Don't even need it right now. Okay, so what can they do the same and different from each other? Well, let's take a look. These two on the back have openings to put in SIM cards, so they can operate as a standalone watch or as a tethering watch to your phone. You got to make sure on this one that you've got everything back in really, really good because it is uh, full IP68 waterproof. That means you can swim with this guy for up to 20 minutes down to about, I don't know, a couple of meters. Amazing. All right. This one, you don't even want to get near water. Uh, lots of little holes and places water can come in, but definitely a cool design. This one, the bands are definitely fixed. Uh, just not going to take them out. You can see some of the antenna is in here, probably for the um, hookup to the phone as well as Bluetooth. This one, we've already shown you, you can take the bands off easily. They just snap right out, and then you can have a pocket watch. And this one... Well, same thing. Bands can come off. So you could take this watch 
swimming with you in your pocket or wherever you want to go. And it's fully waterproof. Okay. As far as the layout goes, they're pretty much the same. This one has all of the uh, apps in here that we've seen on all of them. And it even has the time and battery indicator showing up. You press and hold if you want to change your huge inventory of three different watch faces. Okay. There's a digital one. The dates are all wrong because we're not uh, hooked up properly. And then there's just a white one. This uh, more fashion watch, you have more fashion bands or, or watch faces that you can play with. I think you have a total of five on here. You've seen all these before, so we're just going to whip through them quickly. Okay. This is a strange one that we couldn't quite get to work. Not sure what it's doing. That might need a firmware update. And we're back to our original. And then this fella has these bands or these watch faces. Then a little bit more, I guess the higher the number goes, and of course it's got the date and day, the more sophisticated it is in terms of its display. Telling us to insert a SIM so that we could use it. And then you have actual touch buttons on the screen, which you don't have on, on these watches, so that you could set your alarm, start a phone call, or check in on your alarms by touching those on that particular watch face. And another one. And another one. Now, while I have this one in my hand, I want to point out the fact that this particular watch, unlike the other two, also supports a built-in camera. There's a camera right here, front-facing, that you can take pictures and very, very short video. There's hardly any memory on all three of these. They're not meant to be, you know, full-on application kind of watches. So, limited memory, but you can indeed snap pictures with this camera. Okay? When you get into the apps, you have different ways of displaying them. But you see, they all can do a, a theme. This has camera. They have a sleep monitor. I mean, look at the individual reviews, and you'll find out about all of the apps. There's the pedometer uh, and the app uh, interface that uh, the watches link you to on the phone uh, called Fundu Wear allows you with any of these watches to synchronize the heart rate reading and the pedometer reading and um, and that goes up to the cloud so you could have all of these watches well this one doesn't have does that have the heart rate monitor i guess it does yeah it's on all of them okay oh no this one doesn't i knew one of them didn't I've been playing with them so much this uh this one has the sim card uh, inside and that doesn't have support the heart rate monitor but this guy has both the sim card and the heart rate monitor and is fully waterproof hmm interesting but it's a little larger so i don't know what do you think this is what it would look like on the wrist okay this is this one mm -hmm. and then this one I guess it's all. There we go. Interesting. All right. So you have three choices from Banis that are really nice watches. Uh, waterproof, SIM card, tethering, heart rate monitor, charging cradle thing on it, removable bands. So it can be a pocket watch or a strap watch. It's a rubber, you know, you can get it wet kind of a, a, a watch band. That, that's your rugged sports watch. Here's your fancy going out on the town kind of looking really nice watch. It comes in silver and gold and black and has some really nice uh, watch faces available to it. And of course the higher end model with the really nice silicone band, the removable place where you put the SIM card in. And all of them have very similar apps to choose from. So kudos and thank yous to Banis for allowing us to review all of your watches, sending them out here. And uh, hopefully if you are interested in any of these high quality 
tethering primarily and standalone dual mode or single mode watches. Um, you came to the right place. Enjoy the reviews and we'll see you next time.